Hi, I'm Fiona, the physio from pelvicfloorexercise.com.au and today we're going to have a look at the EMG machines, the Peritone and the, the Simplex. For ease of purpose, I've started by with my lead um, reference attached to a bony prominence on my shoulder here and that attaches into the left side of your machine. If we're using the um, the machine for pelvic floor rehab, we would tend to use a vaginal or an anal probe. However, so that I can demonstrate to you, I'm actually going to use some um, surface electrodes on my arm. So we attach our electrodes to the lead, which I've already attached to my machine. Gently peel them off and place them wherever it is you're going to be using your machine. Okay. We now turn the machine on with the on-off switch and we need to set our threshold. So these machines do an automatic threshold. So if we press the set button, you'll see on the screen some numbers are counting down from three, two, one. We're holding for that time and releasing. What the machine will now calculate is 80% of that as my threshold and it will now set that um, as my threshold in the top right hand corner. So for my efforts as with the EMG machine, I need to get past that threshold with my contractions if I'm going to be successful. If you find that that threshold is too high or too low, you can use the plus and minus buttons here to reduce it or increase it. So now that you're ready, let's imagine we're using this as a vaginal probe, you would get your patient to do the contractions and their reading would come up on your screen as to whether they're reaching the threshold that's been set and relaxing down. It can also be used in reverse for relaxation. So you can set the threshold quite low and your patient needs to be able to drop the contraction level below that in order to reach the relaxation state that you're after. You can change the, um, the threshold, as we said, at any stage during the, during the treatment and we can manually adjust it as well. On the screen here, you have the number of trials that you'll be doing and how long you're going to hold them and the resting feature. So to change these parameters, we just need to hold the set button down for three seconds. And you'll see up on the screen here, we now have volume, so I can increase the volume um, of the, the beeping that gives us the biofeedback. If I scroll again, I'm getting work up on the screen there. So how long do I want the contraction to be held for? Just using the plus and minus buttons here, we can change that. Pressing set again, and you'll see that we have the, um, the rest time. So if we've got five seconds here, I might want to increase that rest. Set again, and the T comes up. That's the number of trials, how many repetitions you want. So again, you can use your minus and plus to, to change the number of repetitions for this particular program. And then we press set again. You'll see FAB or FOF and FCO. What those mean are with FAB is above the threshold. So if you want the patient to get above the threshold before the biofeedback kicks in with the lights or the, the sound, uh, well, you would choose that one. If you want it to go below the threshold before it um, gives the biofeedback, that's more when you're looking at relaxation, you choose the FBL. And if you want it to be on above and below, you use the FCO. You can also um, take it through and have sound off, which is FOF. So you won't have any of those, um, the sound signals. If we keep pressing, we now have DOF and DON. So that's whether you're using the software that's a, that is supplied with the, um, with the device, you can have it hooked up to your computer. So if you're not using the, the um, software, we have that on off. And the last one is you come to um, narrow and wide. Narrow is um, width is used if you're using the device up near the heart, so that actually um, filters out the, the heartbeat. Generally with large muscle groups and lower in the pelvis, we're going to use the wide setting. So we scroll through until we have the wide setting there. That um, makes it a lot more sensitive. So for those uh, muscles in the pelvic floor, it will, will pick up the sensitivity and give you a feedback reading. 
Then all you need to do is press the escape button and your parameters for your program are now set and you can start your treatment session with your patient. At any time you can go back in, hold the set, the set button down and change any of those parameters if you feel you need to progress your patient. At the end of the session, I can't actually demonstrate it on the, um, the screen here at the moment because I haven't done the full session. So once you've been through that full program, you press the, um, at the end of the session, press the set button and it will bring up different parameters. So the work average, the, um, the rest average, and the onset of muscle contraction, how quickly the muscle contractions have been coming on and how quickly they, um, they rest back. So the quicker they come on, the stronger the muscle is, um, is developing. Once you press escape after that, all of that information is cleared. But if you've got your device hooked up to the software on your computer, that will um, save it on the computer for you for future um, episodes. If you're giving your or loaning one of these to a patient um, or they've got their own using at home, you can actually lock the device. So you've set your program up. If we take the back off and I'm going to remove one of these. You just need to use the, um, the pin. So there's a little hole in the middle here. If you press something into that, you will hear a double beep and that is um, locking the, uh, the device. So your patient can take it away for a couple of weeks, do their sessions. When you come back in, you can um, unlock to find those new stats. So you unlock it and then run through the stats on the, on the screen. And you can actually see whether your patient's been compliant, how often they've been doing their, um, their treatment and how well they've been doing within it. Thanks for listening. If you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at info at pelvicfloorexercise.com.au.